happy Tuesday, everyone. It is March 2nd. Can't believe it is already the last month of the first quarter of 2021. Wow, this year is already moving on so quickly. It's crazy. So I wanted to go live today and talk about the topic of what are we passing on to our children? And the reason that this topic came up is I had a really powerful session with my coach this morning, or actually it was morning for her, it's early afternoon for me on the East Coast. And um, some, some things came up around some unhealed shame. There was something that I was going over with my coach, and even though I felt like I'm really on track with it, I kind of felt shame that I hadn't, didn't already have the result to share with her. And her being an amazing coach pulled that out and said, okay, I'm sensing that you have some shame around this. Let's, let's, you know, some shame, an issue with shame. Let's talk about this. Right. And so she was like, you know, do you have some shame revolving this, this emotion, um, you know, just this kind of situation, like, where is this coming from? And, you know, it pulled up some memories of, you know, just kind of, some shame that I felt like around my mom, like my mom would, and I'm not saying my mom was a horrible mom, but, um, she, you know, there's something that I asked for her to, to buy for me and she just made me feel like horribly shameful about it. Some feminine hygiene products. And, um, you know, so there were some other things that were wrapped around that. And so she's like, okay, so this shame, she said, often when we have this shame, this type of emotion, it comes from, you know, we're actually inherited it from our parents. And I said, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I know of at least two situations where my mom was carrying a lot of shame that kind of was brought on her by her mother, right? And you know, her, her mother probably got it from her mother, but she said, you know, what happens is these trapped emotions that we haven't dealt with like fear or shame um, and other negative emotions, they actually, we will pass them to our children. So in the case of me, you know, just being a small child, but having all this shame, um, cause I, there were some shame situations we discussed, you know, prior to the, the feminine hygiene thing I was talking about, but, um, you know, like having all this shame that like, I shouldn't have, like, I shouldn't be born. Like, I shouldn't be feeling this type of shame at such an early age. Like I didn't do anything wrong, but yet I carried it. So it's kind of like I got past that in the DNA from my mother or got past her shame. And the reason I bring this up is that for those who are parents or those who are thinking about becoming parents or if you're already a parent, it's really important to realize that the unhealed emotions that you have like shame and fear and anger and, and things like that, you're actually passing them through your DNA to your children. And so when you have a kid who lashes out or a kid that feels a lot of shame or a kid that, you know, is dealing with something and you're like, I don't understand why my child is dealing with this, right? It could very well be something that they inherited from you, from your spouse, or even from a grandparent that is getting passed down and it's manifesting in your child. And I have this uh, a lot with my clients where I will be speaking to the mother of the teen client that I'm dealing with. And they'll kind of be giving me a little background on what's going on with their child and, and everything before my child, before we have a session with their child. And, um, and she'll say, you know, this is what I'm, this is what she's demonstrating. This is what my child's, you know, demonstrating this, this, and this. And they'll say, I don't know where they got this from. Like, they really shouldn't be like they haven't been in any stressful situations or anything that would that should manifest this. But, um, you know, when they look deeper at like actually stuff that they themselves have gone through that they haven't healed from yet. Those emotions that their child is is lashing out and having some problematic behavior with are often things that came from the parents. And so it's really, really important as parents or as adults or even like caregivers or teachers, right? Anyone who's dealing with, with kids and teens um, to be looking for 
you know, these problematic behaviors or these displays of shame or these displays of anger and realizing that it might not co- have been coming directly from something that the child has experienced. It could very well be coming from something that the parent even experienced as a child or as a teenager. Um, and that has been passed down. And so until that emotion is healed, it's going to continue to cause trouble for that entire family line, right? The beautiful thing is if, (coughs) if the emotion, the trapped emotion can be healed in one of the parties, whether it's the mom, whether it's the teen, whoever it is, that often breaks the excuse my nose, it just, that often breaks the cycle for like everyone else in the family. It's amazing. So like all the healing work that I'm doing with my coach or that my coach has done with her coaches or whatever, we're actually freeing generations from these negative patterns and the devastating effects of having those, those negative trapped emotions and those things happening in our lives. Like, unfortunately, I'm going to pick on the medical community, and I don't know if Facebook's going to, you know, take my video down for this, but the mainstream Western medicine, that they handle these things by medicating. So they'll prescribe antidepressants or anti-anxiety medicine or whatever, something to numb out the adult or the child so they don't feel the emotion so intensely. The problem with that is it doesn't actually work. Like being numb does not make the problem go away. It's, it's just making you, you know, ignore it. And so the better way to handle this sort of thing is to really dive in and do the work, whether that's through coaching, whether it's through hypnotherapy, whether it's through energy therapy, I actually um, see an amazing energy healer in addition to my coach that's helped me with some of this, um, residual (laughs) generational baggage that I've had, um, and to heal those things. And when we heal it, you know, we free past generations and future generations. And as a parent, like what more could you possibly want than the best life possible for not only your child, but your grandchildren to come and their children and their children and children to free these generations, right? We're talking about powerful stuff here, guys. Powerful stuff. This is not pop a pill and don't think about it. This is really doing the excavation and the work to heal where it's no longer a problem. And it's not only not longer a problem for you, it's no longer a problem for anyone in your family, right? It's, it's just some of the most powerful work that's out there. And so I just wanted to share this message with you. Just make you think a little bit about what you're passing to your children, what you're passing to our children. Like if you have unresolved issues with anger or with depression or with shame or with whatever, then now is the time to step up and do the work, right? to do the work to heal that so that you can also free your children, right? So they don't have to deal with that. So they don't have to struggle. So they don't have to suffer, right? Because what we do for ourselves is also a gift that we give across generations and to others as well. It's so, so powerful. You guys, this work, um, you know, I just want to encourage you, right? If you're curious about like, any of the things that I've talked about, if you're curious about like what this looks like or, you know, how you can, you can heal yourself and your children and your children's children and all that, that you just reach out and, you know, you can send me a a DM, you can send me a direct message, you can reach out and say, Hey, can I ask you some more about that? I'm just curious, right? Like, don't let like fear of reaching out and fear of asking questions, fear of looking dumb, like keep you stuck. There are no dumb questions. There are no silly questions. Like all of this is really important. And to me, I, I can't think of anything more important than healing yourself and healing your entire family and, and your children and your grandchildren to come. So 
So if you're curious, if you have questions, send me a direct message, reach out to me. You can also, I offer free consultations. The link is in my bio and my Facebook bio. You are welcome to just click there and just, you know, go ahead and grab my, grab a spot on my calendar, whatever works for you, right? Like don't suffer. Don't, don't keep, you know, passing on gunk and, and negative stuff to, to future generations, right? They deserve to have the best um, start that they can possibly have. So that's all I have for you on this lovely Tuesday. Lots of love to you and wishing you a wonderful rest of your week.